Welcome to this DIY tutorial, where I will show you how to create these adorable lab coats for your Barbie and Ken dolls. I have taken the pattern from AntiqueLilac.com, which was meant for an MSD, and scaled it down to fit these 11.5 to 12 inch dolls perfectly. Let's get started. Let's start by accessing the pattern we need for our project. Open your web browser and go to the website AntiqueLilac.com. You'll find the link provided in the video description below. Once you're on the website, scroll down the page until you see the pattern we're looking for. Click on the pattern to open it. Now, we need to make sure the pattern is the right size for our project. Click on the print option. But before you hit that print button, we'll set a custom scale. In the print settings, look for the option to adjust the scale. value 69% to scale down the pattern appropriately. After setting the custom scale, you can go ahead and print out the pattern. Now that you have your scaled down pattern printed and cut, it's time to cut your fabric following the pattern lines. Place the pattern on your fabric, ensuring it aligns correctly, and carefully cut around the edges. Take your time to make precise cuts, as this will ensure the best fit for your project. When preparing the collar, it's important to note that the pattern does not include a seam allowance. Before cutting the fabric for the collar, remember to add the necessary seam allowance to ensure a proper fit. You can use a pencil or a pen with disappearing ink to trace the pattern onto a double layer of fabric, then cut it out, making sure to include the seam allowance you've decided upon. This extra step will help ensure that the collar piece fits seamlessly into your project. After cutting all the pieces, take the two front pieces, one back and one front facing piece, and sew them together at the shoulders. Pin each of the pieces together before sewing. After sewing, Press open the seams to create a neat and smooth look. Fold the back lab coat facing onto the front of the lab coat as shown and match the neckline. Next, let's prepare the collar. Keep in mind that the collar pattern acts as a template and doesn't include seam allowances. Proceed by stitching along the outer edge of the collar, following the path from point A to point B. After sewing, gently clip the corners and the outer curve to facilitate the turning process. Flip the collar to the right side and then press it with an iron to create a smooth finish. Align the right sides of the coat facing and the coat then carefully fold the coat facing over the coat, ensuring that the shoulder seams match up accurately. Position the collar between the coat and facing, maintaining an even distance from both folded edges. Secure the collar in place with pins. To secure it further, baste the collar and clip partway to the seam line, ensuring everything stays in position. After sewing the collar, turn the coat right side out, ensuring the correct orientation, and carefully press the collar and the front edges to achieve a polished look.
Gently fold the hem of the sleeves and use an iron to press them flat. Once they are neatly folded, secure the hems in place by stitching along the edge. This will create a clean and polished finish for the sleeves. Proceed by attaching the sleeves to the armholes of the lab coat. You can start by hand stitching the sleeves in place for a precise alignment, and then reinforce the attachment with machine stitching. This method allows for greater control and accuracy while ensuring a secure and professional finish. After hand attaching the sleeves, you can opt for machine stitching if you prefer. Fold the sleeves over and stitch along the sides of the sleeves and the lab coat to finish the sides. Next step is to press the seam allowances, ensuring they lie flat. Additionally, press the rest of the lab coat to create a smooth and polished appearance. Once you've ironed both the seam allowances and the lab coat, you'll be ready to fold the bottom of the coat. Carefully fold over the hem of the coat and use the iron to press it down, creating a sleek and even appearance. Then, proceed to secure the hem with a straight stitch. Now it's time to add pockets. For those confident in sewing, consider applying fray check to all the pocket edges. Allow it to dry thoroughly. Proceed by machine stitching a rolled hem at the top, facing the right side, and zigzag stitching the remaining three edges. Finish by pressing the pockets. Alternatively, if you prefer the option I used, which involves gluing the pockets, begin by folding all sides of each pocket and pressing them. Apply glue along the pocket edges and adhere them to the designated spots. While you can estimate the placement visually, a helpful guideline is to measure 2 inches below the armhole. This measurement can provide a clear reference for positioning the hand pockets accurately.
Once you are confident in their alignment, proceed to apply glue to secure them in place. This method ensures that the pockets are positioned correctly Now, if you'd like, you can choose to create a back belt for your lab coat. Please note that this step is optional. The first step is to trace this pattern onto a double layer of fabric using a pencil or disappearing ink. Make sure to include a seam allowance when you cut it out. Next, stitch along the trace lines of the pattern, leaving a gap of approximately one centimeter in the middle of one long side. This gap will allow you to turn the fabric right side out later in the process. This careful stitching is essential for creating a sturdy and functional back belt. Trim the corners by carefully cutting away excess fabric, then gently turn the piece right side out through the opening you left earlier. Once turned, press the fabric to ensure it lies flat and looks neat. Finally, hand sew the previously left open and closed, ensuring a clean and professional finish for your back belt. Now position the back belt at the waist on the back of the coat. Secure it in place by stitching it or gluing it down. Additionally, you can add buttons to the lab coat and to the belt as explained in the tutorial from AntiqueLilac.com. Once this step is complete, your project is finished. I hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.